Talk Sports Update with Ngoni. It's a beautiful morning to you. I am Gwani Zashim Tasso with Letters in Sport. Coming up, a night of misery for Roy Hodgson and Walter Masari as both are fired as Crystal Palace at Napoli managers respectively, while Thomas Tuchel's stay at Bayern Munich hangs by a thread. Details shortly, but first in your local sport. We talk football with Harare Mayor Jacob Mafumi says they are not look, just looking at having Premier League football matches at Rufaro Stadium this season, but they, all, they are also looking at creating business model around the stadium. Speaking to our sister station, Star FM on a special section of last night's Moriro on Monday. Mafumi said they want the maintenance of the stadium to come from the business at the complex. And here is Harare Mayor Jacob Mafumi. We have made it a multi purpose where there are small to medium shops there. Uh, they are now operational. If you pass there, you'll see people selling. It's part of the revenue that will go to the upkeep of the stadium. We are also going to build a shopping complex there where we'll persuade some of the big companies to come in and eventually a bed and breakfast and we are going to make it a multiplex it's going to be an income earning zone rather than an expenditure zone so and a family setup things are improving like i say i'm inviting you for a tour come and see i know football people are thomas's they see and then believe but i'm willing it's open come and see now lovers take pictures of themselves there and pretend they're in south africa it's so beautiful and magnificent so come and see i'll invite you and you'll get a few selfies with the mayor before the games start in international sport, uh, results of EPL matches played last night. Amadou Onana's late goal gave Everton a crucial point against Crystal Palace after the two teams drew 1-0. Jordan Ayewu looked to have sealed the three points for Palace with his superb strike before Onana's late intervention. Meanwhile, Crystal Palace have appointed Olivia Glasner as the new manager to replace Roy Hodgson. Glasner, who is a former Eintracht Frankfurt boss, comes in at a time when Palace only has one win this year and are 15th on the Premier League table, five points above the relegation zone. Action continues tonight in the EPL. Manchester City play Brentford at 9.30 p.m. And a win for City will see them move into second position, a point behind log leaders Liverpool. Here is manager... Pep Guardiola on tonight's match. For the expectations we had against Renfrew in the past, always have been so complicated and difficult and will not be an exception for the quality they have, for the way they play. But yeah, you have the opportunity to climb to the second position, to go one point in front of Arsenal, to be just close to the Liverpool and sit a lot of games to, to play. But the reality is, since we lost against Aston Villa, we didn't lose one game and the games we draw, we were better. UEFA Champions League action, a round of 16 fixtures on tonight. PSV play Borussia Dortmund at 10 p.m. And also at 10 p.m. is Inter Milan up against Atletico Madrid. To Syria A, Napoli have sacked manager Walter Masari after just three months in charge and replaced him with Slovakia head coach Francesco Calzona. Masari, who succeeded Rudy Garcia in November, leaves the Syria side ninth on the table. It's a huge task for Calzona as Napoli are in action against Barcelona on Wednesday in the Champions League. In Bundesliga, Xavi Alonso has been named as a preferred candidate to replace under-fire boss Thomas Tuchel if Bayern Munich decides to sack him. Alonso has been named alongside Zinedine Zidane and former Manchester United manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Pressure has increased for Thomas Tuchel following Bayern Munich's 3-2 loss to Bochum at the weekend and making it their third straight defeat after losing 1-0 to Lazio in the Champions League last week. And finally, the Confederation of African Football has granted an initial approval to Morocco to host the 2025 Africa Cup of Nations uh, between 23 July and August 21 next year. Patrice Motsepe, the CAF president, had initially been hesitant about specifying the date uh, for the next year's edition, which was originally scheduled for January and February 2025 in Morocco, but was later postponed. That's your sport for this hour. Back again in the next hour with another sports update. Capital Sports Update with Ngoni.